Boom, baby. We are live. Uh, yet again, it says an error has occurred. Please try again. So please let me know if um, you can see me and if I'm live. Give me a number in the chat. Give me a one in the chat if you can. Um, help a brother out. How's everybody doing? Can you guys see me? Can I get a, a one in the chat? Can you see me? Dabs. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Seeing you, awesome, Peter. Thank you so much. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Group B, what a great webinar we had. Um, the webinar went like over two hours long. And honestly, I don't mind that because I told you, I'm in this to help you guys out. Um, looks like we're we're all live also on Blog Talk Radio. So if you want to call on in, woo, don't highlight the whole screen. Just highlight the whole screen. Six five seven three eight three, one three one eight. Colin, 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 say what's up. It's Bible time, guys. It's Sunday. Remember, remember our decree. Ezekiel chapter twenty five, verse seventeen. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon them. And the vengeance, boys, is living an awesome life. And today we're going to talk about why you need to kill your old self and how to do it. How to do it, okay? Guys, so as you can see, I'm wearing my special LASIK glasses. Um... LASIK was Jesus Christ did my eyes hurt right after surgery. Holy God. Um, the LASIK was a massive success though. I see I don't have 2020 vision yet. Um, but uh that's because the doctor said it's just it's coming in time. Like it doesn't happen right away. Yeah, Oaktown's finest. It says I see you move the show up the hour. You see, actually I did not. Um there is no daylight savings time in Japan. So actually, I completely, it slipped my mind. In, in Tokyo, there is no daylight savings time. So I just happened to start the show when America was on the daylight savings time. And then it was at 8 a.m. Now the show's at 9 a.m. And I guess that's not bad. Um, I guess it's not bad at all. Um, so let, me say, let me say what's up to everybody in the chat, first and foremost. Uh, Winston the Wolf, what's up, you handsome devil? Killing the weakling inside before it tricks your body to kill itself. Yes. Big Chungus Knowledge. What up, bro? Knowledge. Vincent Vale. What up? Peter. What's up, my brother? Hellfighter. Loving this title already. What's up? Michael Zorate. What up? Peter S. MLD. Can you see the light? Oof, we're going to talk about that. Oh, title's very interesting. Killing my old self weighs 130 kilos and sitting on my chest. And don't let me rise. No, no, no. You already killed your old self. You already did. They just need to evolve now. Uh... Ben Muzz, what's up, bro? You're new here. Oaktown Finest, what up, what up? Red Beast, what up? Uh, Masking Mentality, what up? Mo, Mo, how's the hoe train? The Mo Ho train, how's it going? It's DST, Daylight Savings Time. Yeah. Oh, shit, never mind. Not time. Not time is even better, M-I-O. Yeah. So what's up, guys? 19 viewers, 5 likes. Get those likes up. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about what do you what do you need to do to kill your old self. What does that mean? So first and foremost, give me a call in. Um, so yeah, LASIK was LASIK was a success. Um, man, they put me through a grinder yesterday. I went into that. I was late because that webinar we did with Group B, which was amazing. I think everybody in Group B got a really good value. Um, some of you guys got to see and hear from Apex and. Um, Apex is just is just doing awesome. Um, Winston Wolf, I sent you the invitation for sure. I sent it to everybody after I screened you all. Um, it is the email address associated with your 
No, I got you, Winston. You'll get in. Oh, everybody. I mean, everybody. Pretty sure is in. Uh, Zarate got in, and um, uh, Peter's definitely in. Hey, the group is up and running. Twenty nineteen is new me, new hoes. Good shit. Um, so, yeah, uh, Winston, there must be something. Check your spam mail. Uh, for Greg, it was in his um, it was in his junk mail. So check that out. Oh, Bar Command, what up, man? How's all the way from Jamaica? How you doing? So, yeah, LASIK yesterday was pretty wild. Um, it was, uh, you know, straight up from... No, to no, check your junk mail, Winston. Check your junk mail. But they ran me through the what, the mill, man. Jesus Christ. So they... What they do is, like, I went in. I got there, like, 10 o'clock, 10.30. And I did test from 10.30 until like 5 p.m i was in there they're testing my eyes they had to retest my eyes retest the thickness of my cornea i had to do a consultation with the doctor turns out that they are not really saying a scam but there is no set pricing for their lasik plans but being the master of sales and marketing that i am I was able to get, uh, how much in dollars is that? $1,700 discount. Because these fools are trying to hustle me. I was like, you motherfuckers ain't going to hustle me. I'm going to hustle you. Um, long story short, they tried to hustle me. I flipped the script on them. And the doctor, it was me and the doctor in the office, just one-on-one. -on -one. And I, just, I, I basically, with my words and uh, prior knowledge, and I had them write down the prices from last time, I pinned him in a corner. For him to give me a discount and then give me an additional discount because um, Miss MLD was with me and she showed him a coupon on the phone that they also have for discounts online. So I got a huge discount and actually upgraded to the top tier best machine at the same time. So don't try to pull no shit on me, son. Right? Then um, I had one hour break. So I was terrified and I had like I have my doctor. I got, I got my doctor to prescribe me some Xanax because... In Japan, they don't give you opioids. They give you no painkillers, nothing. There's no opioids allowed in Japan. Like you have to get like the crazy, craziest, highest tier um, uh, prescription from a doctor to get painkillers. Like there's just no painkillers here. And so then um, I went and got the surgery and the surgery was crazy. When Peter said, do you see the light? Um, the surgery was just absolutely crazy, man. Like they, they put some numbing drops in your eyes and like, I, I took two strong Xanax before I went in there. Cause I was just like, I was honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was very afraid. I was very afraid. And then they like lay me down in this machine and they like put the, it was like, if you ever seen that movie fire in the sky where that, that lumberjack gets kidnapped by aliens, like it was like that, this like big machine, like slowly comes over into over my eye and then what it does is like there's like there's there's uh three lights on one side three lights on the other side and like a blinking green light and this machine like pushes down on your face and keeps on pushing down until your optical nerve shuts off so my eye completely shut off and then i just started feeling it like they they cut like a flap on your tip of your eyeball and then they peel it back and so when they cut it i felt it in my right eye and um i guess they didn't numb me good enough but fucking hey did that shit hurt and um it only hurt for like you know a minute but god damn that, that that was just oh my god and then they have to take they cut that one and then they did it to the left one the left one they did fine thank god I didn't feel anything there. And then they take you into another room and then they they put the laser and I saw like crazy like this this red laser went over my eye and I could smell my eyeball burning. Um it smelled like burn hair, but they were they were lasering my eyeball and I could smell my eyeball burning. It smelled like burn hair and um What's crazy is like they pull the flap back again, so my eyesight got even worse. Like everything was like, dude, it was like I saw God. It was like I was having like an ex existential crisis in there at the same time, man. It was, it was fucking crazy. And then they 
they they lightsabered that eye, they lightsabered the other eye, and then they're like, okay, Mr. Jonasan san, you are gonna be having so much pain and all this shit. So they gave me like a they, in Japan they're like so strict with painkillers. They gave me like this little drop of pain stuff, and I was supposed to take like some trains to get home, and I was just like, fuck this. Like we had, I paid a little extra, but um, I I just paid to take a taxi home because there was no way I was gonna be like shuffling through people and like blind man so man dude miss mld saved my fucking life bro like i because i got home and that's when the pain really started and dude it hurt so bad it was killing me it was such terrible pain i I got home and i took more xanax because that's all i could handle and then and then like the eye drops started helping out a little bit um i popped in the red man group i said hi to some some couple of people but the screen was so blind killing my eyes and then you know miss mld like i was just thinking like i need anything to take my mind off of this so she bought me some ice cream sandwiches and then she made me like this delicious stew with like uh, gorgonzola cheese in it and um and you know she and like she was like feeding me and stuff because i'm like i was like tom cruise in minority report when he's like trying to like figure out where the stuff are after he gets the eyeball transplant and um god in heaven man it just kept hurting and hurting and hurting so then i took you know took more xanax and then i took an ant i took two ambien because i took one and i wasn't falling asleep and it's like give, right, give me another one i took a second ambien and then i ko'd and i woke up and like the pain massively subsided and then today i had to go back to the doc i literally had to go back to the doctors this morning and have them because the Japanese are very, very, you know, like, they double check and triple check, quadruple check everything. It checked my eyes. I'm at, like, in this eye, I'm, like, at 20, 20, 30. No, no, this eye, I'm, like, at 20, 30, and this eye, I'm, like, at 20, 40. So I should be in 20, 20, ideally in a week or two weeks, but I can't even go to the sauna. I can't go to the, I can't generate any type of sweat. I can't do anything for a week. So I was actually going to go to the gym after this, but unfortunately you know i have to just go through this crap right now um it still kind of hurts now and i have like they gave me literally like you know in, in, in pure typical japanese style like give me like all these medicines i have to put like this and i have to put this and but between i put this one and this one i have to wait like five minutes between them oh no wait not this one where's the other one no no it is these yeah these two and um every minute i'm gonna have to like put in drops and stuff it's just it's crazy, but dude, holy cow, bro. I can see without my glasses. Guys, I've been wearing glasses since I was five years old. I'm 33 right now. That's 28 years. It is truly a, like a crazy modern miracle. Like, and we're gonna, and this ties into uh, why you need to kill your old self. This ties into it today. Hey, w- JWP Michael, what's going on, man? Um, I've got to reply to you on Skype. I know you've been going doing uh you don't think but uh we're we're gonna talk but yeah peter yes sorry sorry peter i'm gonna make make sick there but oh oh mo actually that's the first thing i saw when i woke up this morning what do you think about darren kill getting ko'd darren darren till is just hype he's just hyped up by the ufc he's washed out now they hyped him up they try to get him to uh you know they're gonna try to get him a title shot he got it and he and he he blew it winston i just got your email and um yeah man it's just, uh, yeah, just, uh, I, I don't think, I never believed in Darren Till. I never believed in him at all. He'll never be champion. Um, Masvidal, it's like Masvidal didn't just KO him. Like, Masvidal fucked him up. Fucked him up. It was a bad, bad KO, dude. He, like, he slept his ass. So it was awesome. Uh, Barker says, I'm having my LASIK in May in Atlanta. 3000 per eye. Jesus, 3K per eye. I paid 35 for both my eyes. Hostile Japan, yeah, dude. It, no, dude, it was crazy, but ugh. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Um, The glasses look like shooting glasses. Yeah, J- JWP Michael, I have a... Uh, I just got laser surgery on my eyes, so I have to wear that. Uh, KD Athletics, such a nice man. Says, don't look at the screen too much. No, these are... These are UV protection, these glasses that I'm wearing, so I'm okay. Um, but no, like, like I was playing Devil May Cry. I don't know if you guys if you guys followed me on Twitch, I was playing Devil May Cry before this. 
And um, I was uh, when the screens went white, I didn't look at it though. If you want to follow me on um, Twitch, go to twitch.tv forward slash modern life dating. I'll put that link in the uh, chat. Twitch.tv modern life dating. I'm trying to get to 50 followers if you want to follow me on there. Um, group B was great. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Groupie is so fun, man. Okay, I I personally had so much fun with Groupie. I think one of the funniest things about Groupie is in the middle of the goddamn thing, old John Shore has some lady knocking on his door, and in her British accent, she's like, "Oh, hello, hi, love, how are you?" and everything. And then John Shore like just gets up and leaves the webinar, leaves his camera on. We're in the middle of the goddamn webinar, and John Shore's woman is coming over. And they're having a cheery old chime in the back time. Then he comes back to the camera. He's like, oh, sorry, guys. I got to go. I got to go, guys. And then he just hangs up on us. <laughs> oh, God. John Shore. John Shore, you are hilarious. Jonathan, you should do an episode grappling Donovan. No way. What's good, Emily? Just, just caught the tail on your legs. Wow. But I'm glad your eyes are bare. Thank you. J J thank you, BK from the Rockies. Same here. All my, all my life. Uh, negative seven in left eye, negative eleven in the right eye. Your your so negative uh, eleven in the right eye is is a, right above the borderline for LASIK. Na LASIK is negative ten. I was negative ten and a half in my right eye, negative nine and a half in this eye. Um, but yeah, but yeah, guys. Um, that's me right there. If you want to call on in, do it. And then um, some of you guys have been reaching out to me, guys. I have I have got to say there are. I, I am feeling privileged, man. There are some pimps among us. First of all, uh, for those of you guys that were in Webinar B, Webinar B was awesome for Group B. That was just crazy. Um, for Webinar C, I'm going to be doing that one soon. I'm thinking about doing one after the show for guys who are not in, but uh, I know it's a little bit of short notice. I don't know if anybody would be interested. Um, but yeah. Let me know what's going on. Uh, if you guys would be interested in, in webinar group, if group C would be interested in webinar. Um, if not, I'm just going to do it tomorrow as normal. Um, the doctor did tell me to kind of make sure, um, you know, uh, make sure that the that I prioritize resting my eyes and stuff. So I'm not going to push too hard, but I am going to. I'm going to make a set uh, tomorrow from all week next week. I'm, I have no work. So it's just all MLD stuff. So it's literally just going to be twitching um, twitch.tv forward slash modern life dating. I'll be on Twitch and then I'm going to be attending to my Instagram. You guys know everybody who DMs me on Instagram, everybody who sends anything to me on Instagram at modern life dating. Uh, follow me on Instagram. You guys know I have 3,200 followers on there, but I literally reply to every single message, every single thing, even even those crazy ass articles you always send me, John Shore. I, I just check them out. Um, Peter S says, but for what it is worth, MLD, and because you mentioned it in the webinar, I'm looking into laser surgery to lose my glasses. And to be honest, it scares the shit out of me. Uh, Peter, actually, look here. I'll be honest with you. You don't need to be scared. Um, you're in Europe, so they give they prescribe you painkillers. So in Japan, they don't prescribe painkillers. They don't. It's like it's illegal. So in Europe, you should be fine because you could just take. I I drugged my. I self medicated, right? So I took I took uh, Xanax just to like make me calm down, and then. I took uh, Ambien to knock me out, and it was just pain right after it. Uh, JWP, uh, you are entitled to four webinars, my friend. Plus, we have our consultation, so don't worry. Even if we have to do one on one, you're gonna get every. You have four webinar credits, so you're good. You're you don't have to worry about it, JWP. Every single uh, person that got into Body Language Mastery has four webinar credits until you attend a webinar. You you have your credits forever, okay? So you're safe. Don't worry. What up, wasted John? Uh, yeah, the eyes the eyes are getting better. I I had the I had the bad pain last night, but other than that, really doing really good. I, had, I actually had a wonderful day today. After that, like walking around, just seeing. I had a little gay date with MLD Miss MLD here. Uh, we went to a little Ikinari steak, and then we went to Cinnabon. And um, I was just buying her little snacks and stuff for taking care of me yesterday because really I was like 
I was gonna go it alone. I was like, yeah, I'll just do this shit alone. I'm a gangster, or whatever. But let me tell you something. Holy shit! If I had to do that alone by myself yesterday, ah, fucking a man. I really would have been like Tom Cruise in Minority Report. Just like just fumbling through Tokyo Station and like just getting fucking kidnapped or something. And well, yeah, Peter, but you you'll, you'll be fine either way. Peter, I I a hundred percent recommend it, bro. Because my I, my vision was so bad. Definitely do it, bro. And and he I'm, and then actually that ties in today's lesson. So we're gonna talk about it. So guys, uh, the phone line is dead. I don't know if anybody wants to call in. If you have any questions, remember, no call is too small. Guys, taking action, even if it means making a phone call, call on in. Um, the number is 657-383-1318. Call in with any question, any concern, whatever it is. You know, it's 100% free, guys. Like I'm, I'm here, but if you don't call in and I just it doesn't work out, is I'm, I'm, I, I'm paying $40 a month for this blog talk radio for nothing. Call in if you have a question. No call is too small. No question is too stupid. Just call in. Um, oh, let me see. I'm gonna look up this self. I'm gonna look up this uh, definition. I want to read to you guys. Oh, so what kill? Okay, so it's Sunday, so I'm gonna try to read some Bible stuff. Okay. Former man, really. Okay. All right. I think Ephesians. Okay, here we go. All right. Because I want to read this one to you. There's many, many different types. But let me get to the book here. So kind of, kind of somewhat staying with the Bible theme on Sundays. I want to read something from the book of Ephesians, which is the New Testament. I, okay, I'm just going to go to the book of content, table of contents here. Where is Ephesians is what page 1396. Okay. Oh, it's a small book. Only a couple pages. All right. So, book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 22. Chapter 4, verse 22. And it said, this is what we're going to talk about. This is the theme of today. It says, you will put off concerning the former conversation. Wait, hold on. I'm going to read this verbatim. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to deceit and lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And be ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Alright? So... What it really means, what it, this, I'm, let me read the other version here, okay? In reference, it, this is a new, new York translation, it says, In reference to your former manner of life, you lay aside the old self, which is being corrupted in accordance with lust of deceit, and that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and put on the new self, which is in the likeness of God, has been created in righteousness and holiness of truth. So mine, okay, so what I'm trying to say is that like, guys, we are all part of this new community, okay? Thank you, Suede Senator. Uh, we are all part of this, uh, like this new way of life. Do you understand? Like we, when you take the red pill, you realize that almost everything you ever believed was a lie, okay? And what you're going to do is you have to, you have to, actively kill your old self you actively have to murder your past negative thinking and past past bullshit past shitty beliefs all right and so what it says here in the reference of your former manner of life 
You lay aside the old self, okay? The old guy who thought all women were angels. The old guy who thought you can't go out there and just have tons of sex with tons of women, okay? All of that is a lie. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm not more special than you. We're all cut from the same cloth. It's all about your effort and which direction you're putting it, okay? If you're having trouble with women, but you have time to watch tons of Netflix or time to watch porn or time to just sit around and be a fucking lazy slob, then that is why you suck women. You need to take that time and apply it towards studying, learning, taking action, getting out there, asking girl on dates, getting on dates. That's if you want to get this part of your life handled, okay? You have to be doing that. You have to put aside the old self, your old blue pill former selves, right? So it's a very powerful thing. It says that in reference to your former manner of life, you lay aside the old self, which is being corrupted in accordance with the lust of deceit. Okay, basically just you're being deceived, your old self, and that you will be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new self which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of truth. So we're, here we're just going to say, which in likeness of, you know, instead of God, just like we're, the, the thing we're focused on on this channel is truth, okay? Which in the likeness of truth has been created in righteousness and the holiness of truth. Because at the end of the day, we're entering the age of truth. Everybody's seeking truth, okay? That's what red pill versus blue pill is. Red pill is truth. Blue pill is lie. Red pill is wisdom. Blue pill is foolishness, okay? So that's what that's what this is. Now, part of why I want to talk about this is... Uh, it looks like we've got a caller on the line. Give me one second. Hold on. Got a caller on the line. We have the most advanced technology in the world here. As you can see, I'm going to hold the mic my other laptop under my microphone now to get the transmission. Stay tuned for the most advanced technological show on YouTube. Hey, caller, you're on the air. What's up, the Nosey? It's Wasted John over in California. Hey, what up, man? You're usually waking up late on these Sundays. How you doing today? I'm good, man. How are you? Good. <laughs> Thank you for joining Group A last time, and uh, good uh, just to see you. What's going on? Yeah, so I have a question and then a comment about the show today. Um, so my question is, I've been matching with chicks on Bumble, and um, I wanted to know from you, because I'm having trouble converting from Bumble text message to phone number to date, mm -hmm. and I want to know, do you recommend just, like, trying to get through that process as fast as possible, or is there some technique and maneuvering? I know it's kind of dependent on each girl, but mm -hmm. I want to see what, what you had to input on this. Okay, so here's the thing, John. In order for me to get... I want, I want to deliver you the most accurate results. So what I need to do is I need to mm -hmm. see all the matches, all the bios, and all of the screenshots of what you're saying. So post. Okay. I want you to post that in the private Facebook group, and then I'm, I'm personally okay. going to review it, and re I'm going to reply in the comments under it, okay? Okay, sounds good. So just post and then, that. Um, I had a comment about the show. Oh, okay. Sorry, go ahead, man. No, no, no. Just uh, that, that's all. I just want to make sure that post it in the group, and a hundred percent, I'm gonna get to it. I, I, you know, you know, you're in the you're in the private group, so I'm definitely gonna take care of you. Awesome. So uh, the comment about the uh, the show topic, I, I totally agree with that hundred um, percent. And I don't want to steal the thunder, but I know one way that I had what I had to do is I had to basically kill off all my old friend group. Cause they were just like crabs in a bucket luckily always here yeah and man that once you get rid of like those toxic people in your life you will just soar i'm telling you and why didn't you tell the the crowd who's listening right now how did what what did you change from um i basically cut them all off man like i cut all, oh like what i started with well man, because um, you used to be shit. if i remember you used to be very 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 fat Oh, yeah. I used to be about 250, 260 pounds, and I lost about 100, 110, somewhere around there, carnivore diet and all that stuff. But see, what's interesting is when you separate yourself from the friend group that you had before who are also all just getting fat, you'll start to see that they keep getting fatter, so you stop hanging out with them because they're eating a bunch of shit. Yeah. And then you learn how to do these things, and they just get jealous and try to pull you back down and kind of almost force feed you, which is kind of disgusting. But, yeah. I mean, it's a real. It's real. So. 
Oh, I completely, I dude, I 100% understand you, man. That is a great comment, and uh, thanks mm -hmm. for calling in. But listen, bro, seriously, I'm not joking. You better post those fucking screenshots, mm -hmm. and, or I'm going to throw you out of the group, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. Thanks, dude. I'll talk uh, to you guys soon. All right, see you, buddy. As our very own Wasted John calling in on the most technologically advanced show on the internet. As I put my uh, laptop back over here on uh, my special laptop holder, which is half of a broken chair. Um, anyways, yeah, so... <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, call on in, man. Guys, no call is too small. That is a great call there. Um, John lost over 100 pounds of fat, guys. All right? That is an example of killing your old self. He decided, hey, I am tired of being a fat, disgusting piece of shit who is going to die earlier in life if I do not get this handled. And Wasted John is a good-looking guy, man. I've, I've been chatting with him. He's very smart. He's got a great career. He's an accountant. And he is actually offering his accounting services to everybody in the Body Language Mastery private uh, Facebook group. So, I mean, that you know, those guys get um, VIP top access to me. So, um, I'm going to handle that. But that's a great, great example there as well. Uh, let me go ahead. Check what the chat says. But for what it's worth, MLD, because you mentioned later, yeah, you should get it. P Peter, just do it, bro. You have to face your fears. You got to run in the direction of your fears, not away from them. Uh, you have to just be a man and do it, Peter. I did it. You're a man. You can do it. Do it, brother. Um, and also, just as a businessman, it's that, that a big part of me doing this, and I'm going to get into it where I'm going to catch up the chat, then I'm going to explain it all. But a, one of the big parts of me doing this is, dude, I'm running out of time. I am getting busy as fuck. I don't have time to be scrambling around. Oh, I got to go to the store, buy a contact solution. Oh, I got to go to the doctor and get my eyes checked, get some new contacts. Oh, God, I, I broke my glasses. Got to go to the doctor and get this. Just sit down, shoot that fucking lightsaber in my goddamn eye. I suffer for a couple hours, and then boom, I have fucking ninja perfect laser vision forever. Not only that, one of my biggest concerns, I don't I don't get in street fights anymore. But like when I used to, get, when I used to fight a lot or, you know, I used to like always lose my contact and I had, I'd have to go like and tackle the guy, take him to the floor and, and strangle him out that way. But, um, not, not advising that to you guys, but if I were to get in a street fight again, I'm not going blind this time. That's what I'm trying to try. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, overall, just you know, the, the, the cost of the cost of time versus, um, you know, uh, result after it's just, there's night and day. It's just completely night and day uh okay it's up there okay cool so yeah let me read the chat catch up here and then i'm gonna explain more why i did this okay uh suede senator says yeah suede senator thank you again brother okay have, i have to catch up on your youtube stream is because i skipped the last couple ones it's okay michael you're good brother i asked a shitload of questions in the webinar i'm good for now hey winston i love guys like you man winston i told you in the webinar dude guys winston winston wolf is extremely good looking guy he is living the hot dude life, and he's he's also a giant. He's like six foot three, six foot four, good looking white guy in fucking Romania. God, the Lord has blessed him. Uh, Mo, I would have called in, but I'm on the airport waiting on my flight. You going back to Miami to bang that Cuban stripper? I hope so. My grandma had eye surgery. She's always been wearing glasses, but now she can see better than me. You'll be okay. Well, thank you, Christian. You are a new man here, Christian. Christian Veno, welcome, sir. In your opinion, how difficult is it to transfer? your past negative experiences into something positive compared to ignoring them, starting from a new life or trying to use a new look at life. Um, Christian, why did you call in if you can? I don't fully understand you, but I'm going to try my best to answer you right now. So as you know, you know, the way I build confidence is this, you know, I come from a very fucked up past, right? And again, I never say this to like, oh, woe is me. I'm a big fucking pussy. Feel sorry for me. Whatever. I, it's not like that. It's like, I just want to tell you guys, like, you know, I never met my dad. Grew up super fucking poor. Grew up emotionally and physically abused by my mom and my cousins and my, my mom's uh, sister, my aunt, right? Um, got just completely fucking like, like ridiculed and... Just all that crazy shit. And I don't think I ever mentioned this to you guys, but I went to like, I went to like three different, uh, three, wait, no, one, two, three. I went to four different, is it three? I went to three, 
one, two, I think I went to three or four different elementary schools. And then I went to three different middle schools for three different middle schools for sixth and seventh and eighth grade. So like, I just had such like a chaotic fucking crazy ass upbringing. And, um, you know, I have still been able to main, get a, get what would could, some would consider a successful life. I'm not a millionaire, not, not yet, but I haven't like, you know, I'm just like, I, I have came to Japan. I've just traveled the world. I've been to Africa. I've been to fucking Paris, Sweden, wherever, you know, I've been all over the fucking world. I've banged a tons of broads. Like sex is like the easiest thing in the world for me to get now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and, um, you know, how it all started was like, I used to look at my past and think to myself, this is why I would honestly think, I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. I would look at my past and be like, I'm a freak, man. Like, I am a freak to society. Like, I am, I have, there's like, like, there's a hole in my heart. I never met my dad and then he died when I was 15. So I never will meet my dad. I never met anybody from my father's side of my family. Like, and I'm like a freak. Like, all these people have fathers. All these people are buying their dad's gifts on Father's Day. And I'm like, you know, and then like you guys know my mom's kind of crazy too. And like, you know, God bless her or whatever. But, you know, I would just think like, you know, I, I, ha I have like, and I still do to this day. I have a chip on my shoulder. Like I need to prove myself. Freud said like uh, uh, children of without fathers, men without fathers usually become high, achieve high achievers to show that they are worthy of their father's love. That's what Freud said. But Freud did a lot of cocaine, and I think he had sex with his mom too, so he was a little fucking crazy, but uh, whatever. But that's just saying, like, I would just feel like a weirdo. And so how I overcame it is that I realized, like, first of all, everybody has their struggles in life. Like, everybody has their struggles. And, you know, I'm not a freak. Like, yeah, this shit happened to me, but, I mean, life gives you certain cards that you have to play with and that's just what you do with your cards everybody has some sort of winning cards in their deck and you just have to use these cards in order to move yourself forward in life you know so i used to think i was a freak i used to think i was a loser i used to think all these things but one thing i did was that really gave me the de like the determination to just try and win try and win because when i won like i shut everybody up i was like no matter what like you have to shut the fuck up because i won and you lost so that's why I was talking like uh, Winston Wolf was talking about this in the private seminar. And I was talking about like, you know, the quickest way to build self-esteem is to set a goal and then achieve it, set a goal and then achieve it. And then you start setting these goals and achieving them and you keep on going up and up and up and up and you keep coming up in life. Okay. It's it, no matter how small the goal is, if the goal is like, Hey, I'm fat motherfucker and I'm just going to walk around the block. 10 times and you walk around the block 10 times and maybe that eighth time you're like fuck i'm so tired fuck this sucks but you're like fuck it, i'm gonna do it and you push yourself and you do it that 10 times i'm telling you guys you're gonna win in your head you're gonna be like damn it i fucking said it and i did it you know conor mcgregor said something about this and i'm not like trying to be like a conor mcgregor fanboy but he says there's no better feeling in the world than saying something you saying you're gonna do something and then doing it and it's spot on man so your negative pass take that shit use it as energy man use it just if, if you have negative pass focusing on it look man you can't be looking back on in your life looking in the past and then constantly worrying where you're going to go in the future like you got to either look at the past and waste your time and ruminate okay look what ruminating is r u m i n a t e okay if you are always looking in the past and ruminating, okay, thinking about negative stuff in the past, that is a very bad habit and you must stop it right away. Stop putting anything negative in your head. Cut it out. Cut that shit out. Nothing negative is allowed. Nothing negative at all. Negative shows, negative people, people who say negative stuff like a fucking, like cancer, Cut it off. It is not allowed, okay? Cut it right off. And it looks like we got somebody calling from out of the country. Let me see. This might be Christian. Let me see. Hello, is this Christian? It is not. It's uh, Mr. Shaw from UK. John I, I Shaw, my darling baby. How are you? <laughs> 
Yeah, good. How are your eyes? How are your eyes doing? Good, John. Did you call in to have a chat in the middle of the show? Uh, no, I just, I just said, um, I, I just wanted to call in briefly to say, yeah, I had LASIK myself, and uh, um, that's changed my life. So, yeah, my, my main concern is I, I put some goals in the, in the group this yeah. morning. Yes. Facebook group. Yes. Um, and for me, my, my issues for the last year or two have been understanding red pill and, and right. actually getting to the point of taking action and kind of shifting my mindset. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm getting there now slowly, but it's it's um, a lot of it's been down to, you know, almost in a way PTSD. Yeah, with what happened, right? Kind of like quite a shocking group of events as, as we talked about, but I'm right. I'm pushing through and you know getting to the point of taking action on divorce and um, healing my leg and num number of things. So uh, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, man, you just got to take, you know, we're, look, lo looking back on your divorce and what happened with your wife and all that shit, how she left you and she cheated and all that, just, you got to fucking put that in the garbage, man. Throw that in the garbage and don't even consider it anymore. Like, like you have to completely scrub it and erase it out of your life and take that mental energy that you have, that you've been thinking about, take that mental energy and put it into... How can I cultivate a new life? How can I get a new woman? How can I get new success in my life? That's what you have to do. Not like anything in the past and, and ruminating about it and worrying about it. It's a waste of time and it's pulling you back. Okay, you have to remember that clearly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I've been, uh, I've been sourcing and uh, I've got a few lined up to potentially close. So, uh, yeah. I'm on it. Good, but, good. Uh, yeah, knee knee healing and um, documents is kind of like uh, my main thing. Good. And, um, yeah, getting my financial stuff sorted out. But uh, yeah, keep on doing what you're doing, Jonathan. I'm Thank glad you. To see that you're actually got your eyes open. <laughs> Thank you're you. You're not sat in the dark. That's good. Yeah, I was sitting in the dark all day yesterday, but thank you so much. All right, I'm going to let you go, John, but we'll see you in the webinars. Yeah, yeah. All right, take care. See you, buddy. Bye-bye. Right. That's our, our London, that's our lovely London joy, John Shore. I don't know if he's in London, but he is in, is in uh, Britain. Great Britain. Queen's, Queen's country. Um, but yeah, Christian, that's how you'll do that, man. You just got to blindly run in the direction of where you want to go. Stop looking where it back and all that. Peter, okay, guys, we'll change the mobile and listen to the car. I'm invited to St. Patrick's Day barbecue. Have a good, have a great day. Good, Peter. Make sure you talk to some girls while you're there. Hey, thanks, bro. Heading back to Miami again. Go get that, bang that Cubaner. Cubana, bang her. And make her make you some of that Cuban that that be steak, man. That make her have her cookie some Cuban food, get some Cuban sex and some Cuban food, buddy, buddy, buddy. You're gonna live that life. Uh, Forty five viewers, nineteen likes. If you guys could please click like, it helps me in the YouTube algorithm. This is not an ego thing, this is an algorithm thing. This just will allow more people to come into the show and find me. Um, it just how it works. Every time I hear Miami, I hear three hundred five M I A O. In the Rick Ross voice. <laughs> Am I yo yo? Flowmaster, what's up? Shed. Chris Raleigh, hey, I think you're new. Welcome. You should do a red pill translation of each passage and put them on your website. Uh, oh, buddy, I don't have time for that, but uh, we'll consider it. Is slapping oneself a good exorcistic practice? No. Slapping is poison. Life is inside out. Moho, mo problems. That's funny. Lust of deceit is blue pill desire for the, lo the love women can't give. Ooh, buddy. That is too lit right there, Chris Rowley. Lust of deceit is blue pill desire for the love women cannot give. Very true. Ego death is an area I've worked. I, I agree, Mr. MLD. Taking action on sugar dad on sugar daddies this morning. ABS three no, three numbers ABC. Yes, sir. Fuck yeah! I canceled my next trip Netflix subscription last December. I'm using the time. To study and listen, listen to Red Pill Wisdom and Rating Books. Watch, bro. Watch how your life explodes. Give it one or two years. Winston, I'm pretty big online. Good. Ivor, what up? Winston Wolf, change your inner man and you change the world. 
Your brain is the antenna. Flowmaster is speaking truth, bro. Listen to what he's saying. I'm going to give a hack. Write down and speak what right at the same time how your day or week would would like to see and you will get the form you will get one form the other and tweak your words you're right flow master write more clearly because it's very I, I just i can't i don't even understand what the fuck you're saying i mean i kind of understand but just take your time when you type these messages because other people will read them and you want to make sure that they can read them correctly and clearly Mo C, I always said Modern Life Dating, my Bumble screenshots. Yeah, so does Pine. Pine sends me, like, fucking play-by-plays, and I, like, tell him exactly what to say, and then he, like, posts, and then he posts on Instagram, just got late again, just got late again. JWP Michael, how do I enroll in this Facebook group? Um, Actually, JWP Michael, send me, um, send me an email right now with the title Facebook group. I've already had consultations with you. You're safe. I'm going to, I'm going to enter you right now. Um, I'll have it. Just send me an email at questions at modernlifedating.com and I'm going to put you in there. We got to do our consultation uh, this week. I'm free. I hope you can get the time. John Short says on this topic at 47, I find I'm completely alone when many are, when not are many red pilled, single or improvement myself or wanting to game. I'm leading by example, doing by being the gangster. That's right, man. Hey, we're all alone in life, boys. That's what the stronger you realize, the quicker you realize that, the stronger you're going to be. This is this show is more advanced than the rest of the interned combined. Thank you. Uh, oh God, I lost my place. You guys are on fire today in the chat. I love it. Talk. Oh, what's up? Uh, Benton Court says like a snake shedding its skin. You must the old you must perish. Yes, you have to not only perish. You have to kill the old you. You have to take action. You have to take the old person that you were, and you got to take that motherfucker behind the shed and blow his fucking brains out, slice his throat. Hang him, burn him alive, whatever it is. You've got to kill the old you because the old you is out to kill the new you. All right, there's constantly a war going on inside of you. And I told you guys again and again, guys, you are either progressing or you are regressing. There is no in between. There is no in between. You're progressing or you are regressing. That is it. There is no in-between. You are moving forward or you are falling behind, okay? That is 100% the truth there. Lewis says, what's up? Yo, John. Conk, what's up, man? Andy, your eyes look good. Thank you. I'm wearing special UV protection eyeglasses. Re two resident giants, Lewis and Conk. Yeah. You're a giant too, Winston. You're like 6'3", 6'4". Giant pimp life. Yeah, plus no glasses is hotter dude. It's dude, Yes. Have you read all three of the Rational Mail books? I have not. I have not read a single one of them, actually. I should read them. I'm too busy banging. Um, Lewis, P.S. I'm a five. Lewis, you're a ten. You got to tell yourself you're a ten. Um, what is the dialing code from projectiles? I don't know. What is the dialing code? I don't know. If you want to call in, the number is... What is it? One, three, eight, one, eight. Six five seven three eight three one three one eight. Colin. Operation Scorched Earth is is the only way. Irish Bateman. What up, dude? From the UK. I've been avoiding my old distractionary friends for some time just to keep my best buddy who is too busy for my ass. So I mean it's gonna be a lonely road until I build myself up this year. Yes, it is lonely. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's very lonely. My only two friends, I have like two friends that I like make, two or three friends really that I make time to go see in in Tokyo. And and one of them is it's Charlie from Cultivate Crypto. Like I it's, I think it's like some kind of universal thing because like I don't even have, I completely moved to where I live now and it just happened to be where Charlie lived and he happened to be at RGF. And now me and Charlie from Cultivate Crypto are like pretty much best friends. And so, um, Friends enough that when he drinks and he spills beer in my house, I don't fucking knock him out. I'm just like, oh my god, Charlie, you fucking retard. <laughs> but I love Charlie, uh, and then yeah, Charlie, Char I've passed, I've literally laid down, fell asleep on the floor of the station, and Charlie watched after me. He took a picture of me, but <laughs> oh my god, what a time to be alive. But uh, yeah. 
it's a lonely road, my friend. It's a lonely road. This red pill road is lonely, but it's full of riches and bitches, man. So you'll be alone, but you'll have a bunch of hoes. And if you play the game right, you have a lot of money too. Um, let me keep this going. Wasted tr true facts. We all have struggles. Love this community so we can help each other out with our struggles so we can all be fucking great. Hashtag a hot dude life. Yes. Statue man. What up, bro? So kill your old self with a thousand tiny goals. Yes. Yes. We're going to, I'm going to keep going more into it. Oh, smart. RN, What's up? Is it possible to call in with WhatsApp? My plan don't allow for international calls. It's not an international call. The number is not international, bro. It's, it's, it's an American number. 657-383-1318. It's not international. It's through Blog Talk Radio. We got a caller on the phone line right now. Let's see who it is. Caller, what up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, who's this? It's Chris uh, Raleigh. You just uh, read a couple of my uh, messages out there. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly who you are. Thank you for that, man. First time calling in, I think, yeah? Yeah, it is. What's up? How are you doing? Here's my, here's my, here's the question. Okay. So if you're going to kill it off, right, if you're going to kill yourself off, but you know the, and you can't look back, you're trying to throw out past self, right? Yes. But you got patterns and some of them are distortions in types of people you let in, whether it's women or whether it's like business partners or whatever. How do you kill off the part of you that's not seeing people that you should stay away from? If you can't look back at the mistakes that you made in the past, I get hung up between the two. Good question. Okay, I can address that for you, okay? Awesome. All right, thanks, Chris. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Because -bye. <laughs> that kind of awkward waiting for me for him to say something just to be nice. But All right, cool. Yeah. So, all right, great question. He says, if you don't look in the past... How can you kill off bad habits if you're not analyzing the patterns? Well, look, here's the thing. If you know that there is a pattern occurring, then you already know that there is a pattern there. And if you know there's a pattern there and you know there's a pattern occurring, then once you see yourself falling into that pattern, cut that shit off. Cut it off. Stop it. If you're able to identify the pattern, once the pattern starts, you have to understand, oh God, like if the pattern is a, is a four-part sequence, part one, part two, part three, part four, as soon as you catch yourself like, oh my God, in part one, oh my God, in part two, then stop it right there. Cut that shit out. Okay? That's a big thing right there. Like if you can catch the pattern then you already know what the bad behavior is. If you know what the bad behavior is, then cut it off. Stop it right there. That's It's just really that's it's that simple right there. And then Red Beast, it is possible to call in. Um, you just got to call 657-383-1318. It's an American phone number. Or you can even call in from Canada. Kong says, I agree. Just clarifying a lot of dudes try to change their whole life in a week and then fail and then cry in the corner going back to the old ways. Dude, and that's another thing. Even if you fail, guys, even if you fail, you have to keep moving forward and try it again. That is the thing. Well, we got five people watching on Instagram. Thank you, guys. We have 45 people watching on YouTube. Guys on Instagram, the feed is going to end in six and a half minutes. Not because of me. That's just the way it is. Oh, aloha from Hawaii. What's up, man? What up? Well, what up, bro? I lived in... Uh, I lived in Oahu right off of Paani Street and uh, next to the convention center for two for a year. So um, guys on YouTube, come uh, guys on Instagram, come to YouTube, type in Modern Life Dating in the YouTube feed. Um, this is actually going to close, but we have a free call in. You can call in with all your dating, men's health, fitness, mindset questions, all of that. Call in. No calls too small. Get your asses over here. Question. I broke up with my girlfriend because... When, well, oh, this is a girl. Oh, this is a lady. Question, I broke up with my boyfriend because when he drinks, he turns into a mad person. I love him, but it drives me crazy. What should I do? Just, you got to urge him not to drink. You got to urge him not to drink. Mo alcohol makes everybody make bad decisions. So, sweetheart, you got to, if it's, if it's really a very, very bad thing, then you got to tell him, hey, Stop. Like, you got to stop drinking because this is not me pandering to her because she's a woman either, guys. Like, if you're a guy and you're drinking all the time and then you're getting crazy as fuck when you drink, like, 
you need to stop fucking drinking. You have to. And if he if he's not going to stop, then you got to leave. It's sad, but it is what it is. Like, that's just it. Because then you're going to be dealing with this fucking alcoholic guy. You don't know if he's going to beat your ass or whatever. But that's just, it is what it is, sweetheart. That's what you got to do. Um, that's just the, the raw, the raw hard truth for you, honey. He can't stop, but I don't want to change him. Then you got to leave him. That's it. Uh, Louis Piazza says, your mind is like a cup. The negative people, things people say can fall in your cups if you let it, which is accepting the negative thing. Yes. You have to put my, I have to put my hand over my cup and, and ex not accept the metaphor. That's right. Vincent MLD, Vincent says, yo, MLD, well, what's up, bro? Man, this show is, man, this, man, this show is, for me, feels bad, man. Good, Michael. That means you're growing. Pain is the greatest teacher. You see, you watch Naruto, you know. Um, Calms from Essex, okay. What up, MZ? Who's MZ? Oh, Michael Sorate. John Shore. Christopher Wilson, message is really resonating with me today. Leave the past in the past. All we have is here and now. Yes, it's very true. You are awesome. Thank you, sweetheart. Come over and donate some money to me. <laughs> Guys, if you're finding any of this value, by the way, this show is brought to you by 100% me and uh, my advanced technology here in, in Modern Life Dating Studios. So click on that link, streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel. Buy me a pizza. You get me a good pizza for 15 bucks here in Tokyo. Um, or if you want to book a consultation with me, 101, send $70 to streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel. Um, that will allow you to get a one-on-one -on -one hour conversation with me and, uh, I will get, help you fix your mindset, mentality, finances, obviously dating is a given, but you know, any, anything you need help with, or if you just need somebody to talk to who's in the red pill area, who can relate to you and, and just kind of bounce your thoughts off of that's me right there. Um, uh, you can also go to modernlifedating.com forward slash coaching or go to modernlifedating.com click on um skype sessions and check out with paypal and you'll be checked out safely and securely um 100 so let me let me catch up with the chat here louis piazza okay i'm a 10 that's right uh, smart. Just watch the F1. Let go of the past. Kill if you have to. Kylo Ren. Smart RN. You. I hope you're watching because I got something for the boys here. Just watch the F1 race. Listening here at the gym. Uh, we got something good. I'm too old for LASIK. My bifocal contact lenses are game chair. Can see clearly at all distances. You can get a the lens implant if you want, even at your age. I'm on fire. Call 911. <laughs> Directions unclear. Old Yeller, the old you. Burn away Deadwood. That's right. L uh, Lao. Low thinking says, I struggle with balance. Sometimes I focus on girls. Sometimes I focus work. Sometimes work. I struggle balancing all of them. I can, I can, usually I can focus on one. Any advice for better balance? Okay. Usually you only focus on two things at a time, right? So like what I do is I, I, I break down my day. So I used to do three things. Okay. I would work to make money. I would uh, uh, go to the gym to stay hot dude life and then I would pimp girls throughout the day using digital pimping, like pimping and then like going out to bars and meeting them, right? That was literally just my life. Like Osaka, that's all I did. I was like literally sex, wakes, protein shakes and getting money. That was it. Like wake up, go to work, after work, hit the gym. After the gym, I either had some bitch coming over or I was swiping, swiping, swiping on Tinder or like on these like, you know, Japanese meat sites and like just always sourcing like every day. That's just like I was like a crazy person. That's all I did, which is just sourcing, sourcing, sourcing. And so right there, that that's how you do it. So you just got to stay disciplined. Um, girls work finances. Yes. Make money, make muscles, get game. That's what I say. Make money, make muscles, learn game. That's all the three things you need to be focusing on right now. Make money, make muscles game three things right there once you get those sorted and you have the dating part of your life figured out and mastered it'll grow old you'll get tired of it and then you'll move on to something else okay um guys on instagram you have one minute to get over here please get over here all four of you are valuable members i want every single one of you guys over here so go to youtube.com 
Type in Modern Life Dating, join this episode, Interview with the Man, episode 41. It is live right now. You'll be able to. The show, you literally you have 45 seconds, and then you can't watch me anymore just due to the way Instagram is set up. It's just going to cut it off. I got a caller on the line right now. Let's see who he is. Caller, what is up? Yo, what's up? Hi, mate. Hey, my name is Blaze. Call from uh, Scotland. You all right? Hey, from Scotland. What's going on, man? Uh, I just love trying to love the dream, mate. Thanks for all the advice and the great shows. Great. And who is this? Uh, Project Les. Uh, I've got your Instagram and I've joined the, the, the group as well. So I'm taking the body language course. Oh, I think you... Are you messaging me on Instagram as well? Aye, yep. Is that yeah, you? Les, I love it. Yeah, you're the guy who's, who's like got, you got your shirt off and you're pretty jacked. Hi, trying to get trying to get as chat as I can. Yep. Ah, what's up, man? Hey, nice to finally chat with you. Thanks for calling in. No, no problem, mate. It's been a while. I've been speaking to you for some time over Instagram and stuff, and following your shows kind of daily. But it's a bit difficult to call in Monday to Friday because when your shows on, it's like midday over in the UK. Right. Uh, so it's tough to kind of to join in. Great, man. Well, do you have a question or anything? I've got. Um, I've got I certainly um, I've just recently started uh, trying to get back into dating and stuff. Right. And I'm texting a girl, but um, she sort of sometimes takes a while to reply or doesn't ask answer specific questions, like maybe asking her to go out on a date. I just wonder if I should just jack her off and move on because um, she's about 30, so she's coming out of her, hitting the epiphany stage. Right. So... I think she's just looking for a blue, a blue pill male that can look after her. So just unsure whether they just jack her off uh, and look elsewhere. But she's hot as anything like that. Well <laughs> then, there. well then, don't 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 swear don't don't swear her off, mate. Here's the thing: you got to be using the the phone specifically to set a date, a time, an activity to meet her. That will eventually lead to sex within that same date, time, and activity. Anything else in between, don't do it. No good morning, honey. How are you? No, oh my god, the sky is so blue today. Just like my fucking love for you. None of that fucking shit. All right? Just straight, just like, you gotta be, you gotta be a gorilla pimp, bro. You gotta be gangster with your fucking time. Nobody is getting your time. Unless they're paying you money or they're giving you some pussy. That's it. Your time ain't for free. You send the messages to her. Hey, love, you seem like a sweet babe. I would love to go have a coffee with you. Let's meet Thursday, 4 p.m. on Main Street at the Starbucks. We'll have a good time. Send that text and nothing after. Zero. And then she's either going to say yes no or reschedule. She got your text. She got your text. As soon as you send your text, she got it. Everybody's addicted to their cell phone. Everybody has their fucking cell phone buried into their face 24 hours, 365. So she's not getting back to you on time because A, you're not a priority or B, I mean, it's just basically, yes, you're not a priority. It really is no B. Yeah, that makes total sense. I was kind of thinking along the same lines as well, to be honest. Like, um, maybe she's got other more important people in the background and maybe just keep me as an order or, or a backup plan, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so then that then just that same thing with you. Guys, I always say don't cut anybody off, okay? Just build your sexual database. Your phone is your sexual database. Just, sell, just save her as like, Almost at the wall, hot 30-year-old babe. And just like, don't even say, like save their name and stuff, whatever. But then try to make it happen on the dates. If it doesn't happen, then save her in your database. Next thing you know, by the end of the year, you're going to have 100 girls in your database. One night, you're going to be feeling horny. Mass text every girl, hey, baby, it's Friday night. I want to hang out with you. How about wines, Netflix, and a pizza at my place? Something like that, right? You send that to 100 girls that you build up mm -hmm. this database over the year. 
two, three, or four girls are going to come out of the woodwork. Some are going to get dumped. Some are trying to get a rebound. Some are trying to just feel like shit, you know, and they're just like, you're going to catch them in a moment of weakness. And that you got to be thinking long term. You got to be thinking long term pimping, not short term. A lot of guys nix a girl and cut her off, but it's really the ego. You, you, you're feeling pain from the rejection, most likely. But at the end of the day, as you see her as pretty much an expendable object, so does she to you right now. You see what I'm saying? That's why you're not a priority. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, mate. No, that's, that's great advice, as always. Thanks very much. Hey, thank you, man. I'm so happy to have a caller in Scotland. That is wonderful. <laughs> I apologize if, um, if anybody else can, can't understand my accent. It's uh, quite strong, so I'm trying my hardest to be as uh, clear as possible. Oh, you're, you have a wonderful accident, man. You're a great guy. Don't worry about it. Keep in touch, all right, my friend? I will do, dude. Thank you very much. Take care. Keep up the great work. Thank you. You have a wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. That was so refreshing. I didn't know I had somebody from Scotland listening to me. I have I, ha I had a Scottish friend in, uh, in Osaka, but... I told him to get his life together, and he, he got angry at me, and he stopped being my friend. But he was really good at Japanese. His name was Croy. He's a good guy, but that's just another example of, like, you got to kill off the old you. Yeah, sometimes you got to get rid of the old friends, guys. David Dox is burn away dead wood. That's right, David Dox, you're a crypto guy, so you know. Hey, listen, if you're in the hole in some crypto, like maybe you bought some shit, and you're like, God, you know what? Can't be holding on to this loss forever. I'm going to be looking at this loss and feeling like a loser. Just got to take this shit on the chin. And get it out of there. Speaking of which, Bitcoin has been Bitcoin's been rising. Charlie, your prediction had better have been right, you son of a bitch. I don't wanna I'm not gonna lose out on any money. Where's Bitcoin at right now? Bitcoin's floating around thirty nine hundred. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, oh that was that was a great caller. Yeah, this gentleman bought into the body language mastery course as well. Man, we're going global, baby. We're taking over. And I think this is the last. I think I'm only going to accept people into the private mastermind group for the first year. Because after that, it's just going to be too crazy. I already have 100 people waiting right now. People are still... Dude, I got a notification today. Again, somebody's trying to sign up and like, like, hey, can I get this body language mastery course? I'm like, sorry. No, you can't because registration is closed. I got to update my website. That's what I'm doing this week, guys. I got no more work. This week, like, I, you know, I lasered up my eyes. This morning was really hurting. Now I actually feel good and the drops are good. Um, this whole year, this this whole next the rest of March, boom, boom, boom. Webinars, webinars, webinars. Asking, answering your questions on Facebook. Shows every fucking day. I'm going to be on the Red Man group. Ideally, this coming Saturday. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. There was only four people on the panel. I was supposed to be on there, but there's just no way I could have done it yesterday. I was so fucked up. I was just like, oh my God, it was so much pain. But awesome, dude. I feel so great, guys. Guys, um, I'm going to keep going, too. Um, it, we're at an hour in, but I haven't even, like, scratched the surface of what's going on. Uh, let me catch up with the chat, then I want to play something for you guys, and I really want you to pay attention. Michael Zarate, my hot dude brother, I hope you're still in here. I'm coming to sleep on your couch. That's I tricked you, Michael. That's why I told you to buy a couch during our consultations, was for me to come sleep on it. <laughs> Japan is going to be crazy packed for the, the 2019 Rugby World Cup. Yeah, it is. And then the next year, it's 2020 for the Olympics. I'm going to be going to one of the uh, the basketball games. Um, less is more when finding good dude relationships. Absolutely, man. I usually cap at about three. The rest can be casuals, acquaintances. 100% conk. We all need to build social proof, though. I, I, for one, need to raise my market value so I can have something to sell potential associates no just be yourself i mean okay all right no i take that back don't just be yourself but yes you're overall you're right we, we talked about what you need to do winston during the webinar we talked about what you need to do so do it we just got a call or we just got a call or wonder who it is <laughs> we got a blue schools here hey folks if mld numbers us the, the country code should be 001 that would be 001-657-1318 yeah guys call in call in the difficulties with the patterns when which you are blind or in your subconscious belief. Yes. Cultivate cryptos analysis. He says, fail forward. Best way to keep improving. Yes, 100%. Some alcohol is in call. Spirits, gin for a reason. Good stuff. Holy God, I'm, I'm running out of breath here. Oh, yeah, MLD+. Plus. If your significant other is addicted to alcohol, alcohol, 
The best medicine is hard, hard boundary, hard, hard boundaries and full consequences. They mess up. Yes. Addicts want people to, uh, to accomplish their behavior. Never enable them. Yes. Chris Wally, Chris Wally called in. He said, thanks, man. The phone delay was totally fucking up. Next time I'll be ready with the sound delay. Thank you. Lion said, what's up? MLD, I met, uh, le I met less than two weeks ago. Girl I met less than two weeks ago invited me to a birthday party and said to remember her gift. Don't go. Go to the party. Eh, if, you, if you're going to go to a party, if, if it's going to be like drinking and stuff, th there's no shame in bringing like, look, I personally, I try to never show up to a party empty handed. Look, you can go to the store and get a nice bottle of like Sky Vodka or something, you know, or Absolute Vodka for like 20 bucks. Just be like, hey, welcome to party, happy birthday, and just give it to her. And you're contributing to the party. You look like a classy guy. You're showing up not empty-handed. Make sure you're dressed well. You look well. And, you know, kind of be hitting on her. And guess what? If she blows you off, you're at a party. And there's going to be tons of other girls there. So just talk to other girls. And you never know who you're going to fucking flow with. MLD, I got into the in, into late on the body language stuff. Is there a way to purchase just the videos or courses without the webinar? Flowmaster, sorry, no man. You gotta wait until uh You gotta wait until um what do you call it? You gotta wait until uh June. Uh if you're really serious, email me questions at modernlifedating.com and maybe I could do something for you. We'll, we'll I'll talk about it, but uh most likely you have to, you know, probably not. Uh, but just let me know your situation. I don't know if like somebody died in your family or something. Uh, Flowmaster8, email me questions with an S at modernlifedating.com. Uh, Winston Wolf, I honestly just think I want to be popular, not like paying people's tabs and shit. The Irish gentleman, he's Scottish. Uh, I like that Scottish dialect. It sounds badass. Facts. Hey, John, Will the Colas. Thanks, man. Well, if you're, a new, you, if you're a new viewer here. John, the sad thing is, in order for some people to kill their old self, they'll have to literally drop their old friends and new ones. Bro, I've done it, and let me tell you something. I ain't sad. I ain't fucking sad, guys. I am living the dream because, look, you cut off the ones that are shit, and guess what? New great ones show up, man. The quality of your life is better. Yes, it is sad. Life is a sad thing. You're all going to fucking die, all right? But at the end of the day, guess what? Why not be happy if these people are constantly dragging you down? Look, this is a game of absolutes, guys. If you're not cutting people out of your life who are shitty, you're going to be shitty. But if you cut these people out, you, you're you here. You. You right there. Who, I'm talking to you, okay? Whatever you're doing, you're listening to me right now. You're on some corner of this fucking earth. Listening because something deep inside of you is calling you to something greater. All right. Something is telling you deep down inside you can do better. There's more out there for you. But in order to grab the treasures of the future, you must let go of the trash of the past. That's the bottom line, guys. That's the bottom line. I miss a lot of my old friends. I miss them. I miss them. But what you really ideally figure out is you miss the idea of them you miss the ideal my old friends you know what they're doing they're still smoking fit smoking weed every day i don't i don't i'm not have no problem with people smoking weed but smoking weed every day and not accomplishing your goals is a bad thing they're still smoking weed every day they're still jerking off the porn they still got no women they still live at home with their mom they're still receiving financial assistance from their parents these are men in their fucking 30s Still having their wife pay for everything, not them. Okay? Me, I'm achieving new heights. Baby, I fucking hit a home run in my last company. I got to the number one sales spot with three months of experience in that department, which was the youngest department in the entire company. It was me and some experienced guy that was with me, and I blew him out the fucking water. And then you know what I did? I realized, holy shit, I think I got something. I think I might be a fucking genius because at so far at 32, every time I fucking do something, I'm hitting home runs. So I quit. And when I tried to quit the job, guess who tried to stop me? Top manager tried to stop me. Assistant CEO tried to stop me. The CEO fucking ambushed me. He's like, listen, man, I really don't want you to leave. They all saw the excellence in me that I didn't really fully see yet. Now that I, I truly understand it. However, 
Guys, if I did not let go of that old job, let go of those old friends, get rid of that, I would not have grown. Think about that. It may be sad, but it is it is what it is. Smart RN says people are a product of their choices. All right, I'm going to burn through this chat right now because I want to catch up and show you something. Uh, I'm going to build my database. Yes, good. The hardest thing for guys is to feel like they're being fake by cutting off old friends. You're not. You're just growing at a pace that they can't keep up with. Yes, man. You guys in here, you're winners, okay? HBNAR, listening from Portugal, bro. Hey, bro, what's up, man? I want to go to Portugal. I've heard good things about Portugal. If you're a first time, first time I've seen this username too, HBNAR. David Docs, haha, but for shit coins, it's hold till moon or grave. <laughs> How can I get on the waiting list? Uh, Will the coldest, you got to go modernlifedating.com, get on my email list, which is you can click on that by joining to triple your Tinder or go to my. Uh, Instagram, click on the link in the bio. My Instagram is at Modern Life Dating. Jump on the email list and you'll be on the waiting list for the next one. Ivor, question. My friend have been a-mugging me and embarrassing me in front of women, destroying my confidence when I was younger. Should I drop the fuckers ASAP? Yes. Michael Zrat is here. Good. Let go of the hass. Kill it if you have to. Yes. Could use some IRR visuals to be honest. All this learning by proxy is AIDS. I'm about to play one for you, Mike. My couch is ready for you, MLD. I, I'm driving that Porsche if I come to, to fucking old Essex, buddy. I've heard girls in Essex are hot. Uh, only look at the past to learn from mistakes. Yes. Bring the cheap beers and drink the expensive ones. Yes. Classic douche tactic. That's funny. Golden, thanks. Yeah, it's true. If you don't miss the bad ones, if you cut them off. Yes, exactly. Do you think it's better to start going for girls right away after a divorce or spend some time alone getting your head right first? There is no such thing as getting your head right. You get your head right by getting out there and start talking to babes immediately. You throw yourself into the fire and you'll come out gold. Um, having a case of flashbacks of the good times, then remember it was no good times. Just poverty stricken and kicking in the hood. Zero is something overcome. Sky, the manager, Arna. Yo, Winston, you need to find something to keep you from thinking about them. Stay busy. Yeah, listen to, that's, that's KD Athletics. Listen to him. I don't miss anyone specifically. Just I get I just get less attention than I need and shit. Bro, your stories from earlier episodes were dope. Thank you, Flowmaster. Uh, you should do more story time. Yeah, Flowmaster, email me. Uh, we would I'll talk to you about seeing if I can help you out. Questions at modernlifedating.com. Flowmaster, right there, email me. Okay, I'm gonna play something for you guys. So I want you to pay attention. Okay, now this is a scene from Star Wars that I really I'm going to play it once, and then I'm going to play it twice, okay? This video will probably get demonetized because of doing this, but whatever. I want you guys to just check this out, all right? Please pay attention. Okay. <laughs> we'll never get it out now. So certain are you. Always with you, what cannot be done. Do you nothing that I say? Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No, no different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. Okay. You see that right there? <clears throat> that is that is some deep shit right there. I don't know if did you guys catch that? Did you catch what will happen there? Did you did you guys catch it or not? I want you, okay, you know what? I want you to watch again. One more time, I'm going to play this. I want you to pay attention to the words and what he says. <laughs> we'll never get it out now. So certain are you. Always with you, what cannot be done. 
You see that? Always with you. It cannot be done. Actually, is my mic still on? Is my mic here? Okay, yeah, we're good. You see? All right, now, now I know I could talk over this. Let me start it one more time. We'll never get it out now. You see that? Negativity. We'll never get it out now. It's impossible. I could never figure out these girls. I can never lose this weight. I could never get that promotion. I could never figure out this fucking job idea. Wah, wah, wah. Woe is me. The blood floweth from my fucking vagina. Are you kidding me, guys? Guys, whatever you say is going to come true. Whatever you say is going to come true. If you think you can do it, you're going to do it. If you think you can't do it, then you're not going to fucking do it. All right, it goes for every single one of you guys. You do or you do not, okay? Henry uh, Henry Ford, okay, the creator of Ford Automobiles, he says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, it's 100% true. You're right. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. You think you can't figure out girls, you're right. You will never figure out girls because you got a shitty mindset, a shitty attitude, and that's why you have a shitty life. All right, but if you think you can figure it out and you take action and you fucking drill, 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 then yes, you can figure it out. You know what the scariest part about life is? The scariest part of life is that all your dreams can come true, okay? If you work your ass off, now I'm not saying if you're 35 and you want to be a quarterback in the NFL, okay, within reason, but... Nine times out of ten, if you're just an average guy with some average dreams, you don't want to make, let's say you want to make six figures a year. If you want to really drill your ass off to do it, you can make it happen. If you want to figure out the dating shit, it is possible. But to just default to the negative, right? That's what fucking blue pill normies do, okay? That's why you think you are strange, okay? Because you see the truth. You see what the majority of people don't see. You know why my audience is not massive? Because the ma majority of my audience is watching fucking Cardi B. They know what's up with the Kardashians. They're watching Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande. They're consuming this shit. They're like, they're, they're like, oh, I am a Republican. Oh, I'm a Democrat. Ah, oh, fuck Trump. All this shit. They're just like obsessed with shit that just doesn't fucking matter. That's the majority of the world. You on a fucking Sunday are sitting here watching me giving you life lessons using Star Wars as a visual aid. You're not normal in a good way, all right? Now, the thing is you have to let go of the past. You have to kill the old you. You have to kill the old you that said it can't be done. You have to kill the old you that said it's not possible. You gotta kill the old you that was negative. That's what you have to do. Let's continue here. So Luke is saying it, it can't be done. Out now. So certain are you. Always with you, it cannot be done. See that? Always with you, it cannot be done. It's always fucking impossible. Wah, 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 wah. Do you not think that I say? Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No. No different, only different in your mind. You see what he said? This is part of what I told you, Winston. He says, moving stones is one thing. Lifting this X-Wing out of the swamp on one of the fucking moons of Dagobah is impossible. It's completely different. No, it's not. That's why I tell you to get in the pattern of fix of goals, okay? Winning is a habit. Winning is a mindset. Okay, the, the same way I was able to execute my plan and get here to Japan is the same way I was able to figure out how to fucking have sex with tons of bitches. And it's the same way I figured out how to get to the top of my company and make a fuckload of money for them, but to get that number one spot. And it's the same way that I'm also going to continue to be successful helping men with modern life dating. It's going to be a success because I have decided so, okay? I have nothing but good thoughts going through my head, nothing but positivity, blind faith in myself, okay? There, if, even if you're drilling in the gym 
and you hit a new max, you hit a new max bench, a new max squat, whatever it is, winning is all the same. Goals are all the same. You have a goal, you create a strategy, you attempt to win. If the strategy does not work, modify your strategy, try again. Take action, take action, take action. Sitting at home, whining, feeling sorry for yourself, crying like a little bitch, saying, oh, I can't be, I can't do it. Like pathetic, absolutely pathetic. Be a man, man the fuck up. It can be done. It can be done. You must unlearn what you have learned. You see that? You're, what, you're, what you guys don't realize is so many of you guys have been conditioned. You've been conditioned from your mom. You're conditioned from your dad. I used to be conditioned from my mom because my mom just was low IQ and she didn't know how. To, my mom still doesn't have her money right. And I was growing up thinking money is hard to get. Money is an in, uh, unattainable object. If some of you guys come from the hood, from the projects or whatever, everybody thinks, oh, money's scarce. You know, we just got to stay in the hood. We got to do this shit. No. If you come from a family of fat fuckers and they're like, oh, well, my mom's fat. My dad's fat. My cousin's fat. So I'm just a fat fucker too. No. Those are learned behaviors. If you study how the brain is developed, these are all learned things. And you have to kill those things. You have to kill that bad behavior. You have to kill those negative thought patterns. All right. I'll give it a try. And that's you guys. Okay, I'll give it a try. I'll try. I'll do my best. I'll 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 I'll, I'll call my mommy and I'll tell her to give me a little pep talk. Okay? No. 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 Try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. You do or you do not. There is no try. That's it. That's the bottom line right there, guys. That's the bottom fucking line there is no ands ifs or buts about it okay toxic friends will remind you of dumb and degrading shit you've done in the past yes uh i don't need you to tell me how ugly and fat i was i'm fit now if if, if your friend acts like this especially in public you need to get rid of them they're jealous absolutely the moment a bad friend like fucking uh well i took like a tank and viewers there for a second oh it's back now all right, um, yeah, so the more you're just dealing with negative friends, if a friend will insult you or pull you down in public, that's just not good. Like, you know, guy, I, and, like, you know like when we were on the webinar the other day, Group B, um, I was comparing Winston Wolf being so good looking, and then I said, like, Charlie from Cultivate Crypto is so ugly. But I was just joking because Charlie and I are friends, and it was a closed group, okay? But if I was like go out to the world and like I'm with Charlie and I'm like I'm meeting some new people I'm trying to pimp on some girls I'm like yeah you know this guy's fucking loser blah 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 like that's a shitty thing to do there's context to it so if your friend is like intentionally shitting on you in front of the new people and like dogging you down that's that's a person you got to snip out of your life immediately like rock solid game the fuck over all right. I need, I need Yoda in my house or I'll paint the dog. Paint the dog. <laughs> John Shore, Jedi teachings. Unlearn, unlearn. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, young Skywalker getting mindset coached from Yoda. Yes, that's right. Unlearn and do. There is no try. That's right. We need to rewire our brains. Exactly. Dude, you actually need to physically rewire your brains and it is possible. Unfucking Disney programming. Yes, so true. Trinity, energy is transformation matter. Yes. Uh, Gothic Panda, what's up? How do you kill negative thoughts? Just stop them right immediately. As soon as you hear the negative, as soon as you feel the negative thought coming, tell yourself, stop. If you catch yourself in the thought pattern, be like, stop. Literally say, stop. Stop. And then stop it. This is what I say. If you catch yourself having a negative thought, I used to think this because I used to have negative thoughts now. Now I'm like fucking maniac positive all the time. I sometimes I fall into my negativity and worry about things like business and stuff as anybody normal does. But usually Charlie pulls me out of it or, or Miss MLD pulls me out of it. Um, but, you know, right? what, what you got to do is when you're having a negative thought, I used to do this because the, the negative thought is so absurd, right? It's so crazy. It makes no sense. 
So what you need to do is when you have these negative thoughts, and, and by the way, just so you guys know, if you've been watching me from the beginning until now, I'm an hour and a half in, you are going to make a change in your life. It is coming. Because losers checked out by now. Not saying because you know, not not saying like specifically like that Peter had to go to the fucking barbecue and stuff. But like people who like pop in, check five minutes, check ten minutes. Oh, I'm bored. We fuck off and we go watch some sports or do whatever. Those type of people, that's the average person for you. But the people who stay from beginning to end, who are who like try to like get every morsel of information out of me. They, they hold on to every word I'm saying. Like, they're just trying so hard and they're suffering. They're like, fuck, what is happening? What is going on? Like, I can't get my success. I'm going through everything. Trust me, it's fucking coming. It is fucking coming. As long as you're taking action, though, you son of a bitches. If you're not taking action, then you're not going to get any results. No action, no results. No action, no results. Period. You could have every one of my videos memorize front to end but if you take any action you don't take any action you're, you're gonna be the same old fucking loser right because losers don't take action and I, i'm not even like trying to sell anything right now i'm just telling you to fucking like take action in your life so take fucking action take action take action just do something just whatever your goal is if you want to lose weight just go to the gym Pick up a dumbbell. Even if you just do 10 sets and you're like, fuck it, I'm a fat loser. You go home. Try again. Okay? Take action. So you want to talk to a girl. You're like, fuck it. Let's see you walk up there. You freeze. You're like, oh my God, I'm such a fucking pussy. And then you just back off. It doesn't matter. That is progress. Now at least you know how to walk up to a girl. Next thing you walk up to a girl, say hello. Next thing you walk up to her and, and then, you know, get her number, whatever. It's that simple. But you have to unlearn the bad conditioning that was programmed into your brain. Okay? Zavar's in the house. What's up? YouTube says 53 people. Yup. All-time high. Is that an all-time high? I think I got up to 60 before. There is no 99% no sure, only 100%. Once you take the red pill, you can't unsee the truth. Yes. John, what is the difference between confidence and delusional arrogance? I've struggled to get a good any. Listen, delusional arrogance is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Okay? I, I walk around telling everybody I'm going to Japan back in the day. Listen, society tells you you should be humble, be this, be that. Okay? Fuck society. American society is rotting away. All right? Society wants you to be a good little slave. Society wants you to be a slave. An obedient slave. No sex. No fitness. Consume. Obey. Be a loser. Fat is okay. Body positivity. If you're 300 pounds, you're still beautiful. Yeah, you're going to die before you're 50. And you're unhappy all the time. And internally you're suffering. But yeah, body positivity. Fuck society. There is no such thing as delusional arrogance. What you think about is what you make true. If you think, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this. I, I was technically, I was, you know, arrogant to think like I'm going to go to Japan and be somebody big and like achieve all my dreams from my hometown and leave all those people behind. And guess what happened? It did happen. Guess what those people are still doing? Same old fucking shit. Driving down the same road, going to the same restaurants, doing the same old shit. Being the same old nobodies that they always will be. I'm not saying that they're nobodies, but they're, they're not chasing their dreams. And inside, I know these people are suffering. I know they're unhappy. So, fuck that. Be insanely, be insanely fucking crazy. You gotta be your number one cheerleader. Dude, I am, I am out of shape right now, okay? I am, look at these, look at these string beans. I'm fucking skinny. I got fat butt, I got fat belly. I got these fucking laser shit protection eyes on. My haircut is all weird from this lady fucking up my haircut. But at the end of the day, I'm still a hot dude. I love myself. I will go to the bar right now and I'll come home with something. If not today, Give me a week. I'll get out there because I am just laying down the game. Drop me in America. I'll make it happen. Why? Because I love me. I am the shit. I am awesome. I speak Japanese. I speak Spanish. 
I'm fucking, I, I've been all over the world. I'm like, I can build a computer in my bare hands. I'm fucking really good at video games. I know how to make money. I can, I can close anything. I'm a fucking excellent salesman. You know, I look for reasons to think of my positivity. You guys look for reasons to think why you're a loser, but you're not a loser. You have, the un, have to unfuck your mind. You have to unlearn what you have learned. Do you understand what I'm saying? Unlearn it. When you, you, when you do something new and positive, you're like, oh man, this is stupid. This is not me. Like, this is not real. This is not, this is not true. That is bullshit. Okay, that is bullshit. That's that's the old you fighting. That's why you've got to kill the old you. Here's how I did it now. Okay, now I'm going to tell you how I did it. All right, there's two ways. Okay, I used to be very, very poor. Okay, we had no house at one point of our lives and we had to live in a car for three fucking days. Most of you guys have never experienced that. Most of you guys have always had a house that had a safe place to go home to. All right. I went out one time and just to tell myself, to remind myself, I'm new. I went out and I bought a very nice, expensive watch, okay? I bought a nice watch. And it is to remind me when I look at that watch that the new me is here. The old me could not afford this watch the old me said money was hard to come by. The old me had a scarcity mindset. But I killed him. I killed that motherfucker. I bought the expensive watch. I went on the expensive trips to Hawaiian stuff. I created the new me. I said, this is the new me. This is the new Jonathan. Okay? That is also why I got LASIK. Because I'm fucking deep into the psychology game. As you guys know, I have my degree in psychology. But another thing is this, I realized that the old Jonathan is always struggling to put on his glasses. He's always scrambling for contact solution, all of these things. And I said, the ultimate psychological change is to literally get LASIK to permanently change my perception on the reality, change my perception on life. Now, when I wake up, I don't, I'm like, oh, I can see. I don't have any contacts. I don't have to, that 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 part of my life is dead and gone. This is part of my own psychological rebirth. Cuz you have to constantly be recreating yourself and constantly coming forward and coming up in this life. Cuz if not, you're falling back. That's a big reason why I got LASIK, guys. That is a big reason cuz psychologically I wanted to change my image, change how I thought of myself. And the new me is, is ascending to new heights, into new glory for myself. You see, like he said, you know, picking up stones is one thing, but this is a completely different. No, it's not. It's all the same. You do or you do not. There is no try. You fucking do it or you don't. You achieve one goal, it builds a small confidence and you're like, hey, you know what? I said I did it and I did it. Why don't I try something a little crazier and harder? And most of you guys, when you do this, you'll start hitting goals and hitting goals and hitting goals. And then you're going to be like, it's going to be scary. You're going to be like, holy shit, what can I not do? Like Michael, Michael Zarate said he's thinking, you see, since we started talking and, and, and coaching, Michael Zarate said he wants to compete in a bodybuilding competition in August. And Michael, I told you, you better fucking do it. It is your obligation to do that shit. That is part of you that's speaking out. In your heart that is telling you to do this. So you need to do it. You need to. And I'll tell you something. When you win that, guess what? You're going to be like, fuck, babe, I won the regional. Maybe I could go to state. And hey, maybe you lose. Maybe you lose 10 times in a row. But if you keep going, you keep optimizing. You're a smart guy, Michael. You're not stupid. You're not a fucking stupid guy. I would have blocked you on Instagram a long time ago if you are stupid. All right? But Michael, of all people I talked to, I talked to you and Pine the most. All right? So... That thing right there, small goal. You have all these certifications, Mike. You're so fucking smart. It's these little wins. It's the same thing. And you're trending up. You're trending towards the direction of getting this women's shit followed. You know why you're not fucking following. You know why you're not having as much progress as you are. You're not taking as much action as I've told you. And you, you don't bullshit me. You know it. You have not been taking as much action as you know you're, you're mentally capable of. You have something blocking you, but you have to unlearn that shitty behavior. You have to get rid of that. 
You drive a badass BMW. Women are throwing themselves at you at these rave festivals. You got a hot dude body. Your body's probably better than 99% of the guys in the chat. That's already easy mode right there. But you just have to fucking take action and do it. Just do it. Do or do not. There is no try. Just fucking do it. Kill the old Michael. Kill the old Michael that that like was sexless, that didn't understand women. And how do you kill him? By just going up and talking to girls. Setting these little goals. Getting one date. Hey, I went on a date. That bitch's eye. Hey, look to the fucking right. But one was looking straight at me. But she had great tits. And I turned off the lights and I banged her. Yeah, she's got some crooked eyes. Next goal, go out with the girl who doesn't have no fucking crooked eyes. You know what I mean? Just got a small incremental gains, man. Small, small incremental gains. It, it will fucking happen. Let me catch up with the chat here. Will, I think confidence is genuine from fulfilled goals and arrogance is manufactured with fulfilled. No, no, it's not. Oh, it's 60 people in the house. Oh, what up? MLD, MLD gets so passionate, he'll repeat the same thing tons of times. Love. Yeah, because because I have to like, I have to get it in your brain. Like I have to have to drill it into your guys' brains. Rolo does that too, and they're both correct. Yes. I went out last night and had a girl admit to me that she fucked up trying to do the single party girl thing in her late 20s. Now she is 30 and all the guys want younger girls. The wall is real. I would have been like, that sucks, honey. Why don't you buy me a drink? <laughs> I got no fucking mercy. Okay, so he's calling in. Let's see who it is. On the advanced technology show. The greatest and most advanced talk. Hey, caller, what's up? I'm being, I'm sorry you hold for three minutes. What's up, man? All right, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? All right, this is Christian going from Estonia. I was previously asking in the chat as well, in YouTube. Estonia, holy shit. Whoa, great. Thank you for calling in. I didn't know I had people in Estonia listening to me. <laughs> you do not. Thank you, so, sir. What, what was uh, your... Like I'm so, uh, what, what, you... One question. I'm sorry, just so I know who you are. What What is your ID in the chat? Uh, I was Christian. Christian. Ah, Bernard. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what's up? Yeah, so my question is, uh, can you give me any tips on how could I practice my mental point of origin? Because this is the most important thing that personally I need to like, practice the most in order to kill my blueprint past self. Okay, great. Uh, perhaps uh, is it a good idea to uh, use some kind of mental exercise, like, you know, walking up to some random person and uh, starting a conversation, and trying to, you know, pick some kind of random topic and trying to uh, uh, prove some kind of point without backing down at all. Perhaps it is something where I could start from or what do you think about it? Yeah, that yes, that's a good, like, you know, getting in a conversation and proving a point is good. It could, it can become a little toxic because you might get somebody who's arguing and they'll just argue with you. But I have a better way. That I'm going to explain to you if you just listen to the show right now. I'll explain it, okay? Of course. Okay. Thank you so much, Christian. I appreciate you, man. That's awesome that you're in Estonia. <laughs> no problem. All, All right. right. I'll get to listening. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. So our friend from Estonia, he called in and he said, how do you practice your being your mental point of origin, right? And what your mental point of origin is basically – Every decision in your life is about you. Every decision in your life is about you and everything related to you. So a very simple one that I tell guys is this, okay, is on my YouTube channel, there is something called an assertiveness assignment, okay, an assertiveness of assignment. And what you do is this. You go to a restaurant, okay, and everybody likes their food their own special way. Okay, for me, one of my favorite meals is I like a bed of jasmine rice. I like a medium rare steak that is well seasoned, and I like some fresh limes. Cut, not in half, but I like them cut in quarters. And fresh limes, no brown spots on them, nothing, okay? And I like to eat some rice and steak, by, and I 
and I squeeze the lime juice on the jasmine, Thai jasmine rice, and then I put regular Tabasco on the rice, and I eat the steak with that, okay? So when you go to a restaurant, you tell the restaurant staff kindly and assertively exactly the way you want your food. Exactly the way you want your food. Or if you want a drink and an alcoholic, at a, a, an alcoholic drink at a bar, right? You tell the bartender exactly how you want it. I love drinking old fashions and I love having as many fucking cherries in that glass as possible. I know one is traditional, but there's a bar I go to in Japan. They have like these bourbon dipped cherries. I tell a bartender, I'm like, listen, Rogerio, he's this Japanese Brazilian guy, fucking stud, great bartender. I say, listen, Rogerio, I want you to put four or five cherries in that thing, right? Tell somebody exactly what you want in a service position. If you're going to go to McDonald's, you're like, listen, I want no cheese, no mustard, ketchup only, extra onions, okay? And then you check your burger and make sure it's done the way you want it. And you got to be nice to these people because they're handling your food, they're handling your drinks. They're humans too. You don't want to be a fucking asshole. And you don't want them spitting in your food or spitting in your drink too. But you tell them these things exactly the way you want because a lot of you guys who have these um, problems with being your mental f point of origin is because you have low self-esteem. You don't think that you are worthy of having your place in the world, but you are. You are worthy. It is okay for you to have your slice of the pie. It is okay for you to live your dreams. It is okay for these things to happen. So that is one way to put yourself in a situation where you can be your mental point of origin, as Rolo Tomasi says, or you know, basically putting yourself first, putting yourself and and like making the decisions best for you. Okay, that's why I tell you guys too. The other day I told you, um, I think so, I forget who called in, but we were talking about dates. If I plan a date, we're going where I want to go. Okay, like when I want to treat Miss MLD. I take her to where I want to go. Her bonus is that she just happens to go there with me. Like today, I took her to my favorite restaurant, Ikinari Steak. And then I took her to Cinnabon because I like Ikinari Steak and Cinnabon. I mean, the, the bonus was I just took her, she got to be with me, and I paid for it. That was the treat. But at the end of the day, on dates, I do them for me too. I do them more for me. All right? I love these places. That's what I say. When, when I, if I go on a Starbucks date, I happen to love Starbucks. I'm not going to go to some place that I fucking hate. I'm not going to go to like to, to, to vegan fruit shack, whatever, just because I'm trying to bang some hot yoga in, in, instructor. Like, I hate vegan shit. I don't want to go to no damn fruit shack. Why the fuck would I like sacrifice all myself, sacrifice all my needs for, for her? For what? Just because you have a pussy? There's, there's literally billions of pussies on this planet. I've, I've gotten laid before. I'll get laid again. Okay? So that, my friend, in Estonia, that is what you need to do, sir. Start small by going to a restaurant or going to a, a place. You know, I don't know if they have smoothie shops, okay? But there are, um, there are some smoothie shops in the United States where you can tell them exactly what you want. I'd be like, listen, you need to put five strawberries in there, um, two packets of whey protein, and give me some of that fucking stuff that makes your dick really hard. Like, give me some of that detox shit, because I know there's a bunch of shit in me that needs to be detoxed. You know, tell them exactly how you like it. Exactly how you like it. And if they bring it to you and it's not the way you want, send it back. Send it back. Like, look, this is not what I wanted. Okay, if they make your drink wrong at Starbucks, I go to Starbucks, this is what I get. I get a white mocha. Um, re okay, if I'm really going crazy, this is what I get. I get a venti white mocha, and I have her put two extra shots of espresso in there, right? And if they don't do it the way I want, I watch them too and make sure they're making that shit correctly because cause you're, you're handing over your, your hard-earned money for this too. Same thing for these women. You're handing over your literally limited time. All right, you have to enforce your boundaries because you are worthy. You have to realize 
You are special. You are worthy as a man. You are worthy. You are. It's okay for you to be happy. It's okay for you to get what you want out of life. There's nothing wrong with that. So you have. That's something you have to internalize there. So let me go back to the thing we got here. While it's real, Star Wars is based on the hero story, which has been an ancient myth and stories. That what you are talking about is well known, universal truth. Yes, sir. Society wants to be in charge of me to make money off of me. Pfft, that's the reddest pill of them all, Lewis. Read Unscripted, guys. Read Unscripted. That book is the reddest pill of all. Unscripted by DeMarco Murray. Not DeMarco Murray. That's the fucking, uh, that's the former running back for the Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> read Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. He wrote The Millionaire Fast Lane. Um, unscripted. Read that book. That book will set you straight, all you boys. Will the Cole says, wouldn't you say that the people who think it's okay to be a loser are delusionally arrogant though? Someone who's 400 pounds and think they deserve a 10 isn't delusional? Yeah, they are. But you're not 400 pounds thinking that. I mean, you're overthinking now. If you want to learn more about man passion, study the word thumos. I recommend this to all of you. Get some thumos in your life. Preach your MLD Sunday sermon. Hallelujah. Society is a big evolving system that optimizes for scale, not personal well-being. Yeah, but society, it's tipping now. People are waking up globally thanks to the internet. You shouldn't learn where you are, loser. You should So, so you can identify causing fears, following them to destruction. You shouldn't learn where you are, loser. Shouldn't you learn where you are, loser, so you can identify the causing fears and follow them to destruction? No, focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Focus on what you want, don't you? What not what you don't want. Focus on what you want. Okay, you have to put your attention to what you want, not what you don't want. Old John, new MLD. Thank you. It's it's the LASIK. I'm on fire today. It's the laser vision I've got. They want your know, blah, blah, blah. I started laying down some generalized objective to narrow down a paper. Good, but I'm glued to the damn screen now. Good. Well, double if I like. Could I hit the like button get 57 likes? Yeah, 44 likes, 52 views. I'll take it. Bang those crooked eyed hoes, Michael. There you go. Best episode yet. Thank you. My lingam is healing right now. Car oh, Charles Caballero. What's up? What up, fam? The show is packed with napalms. Can't wait to replay with this, Winston. Thank you. It is great. Once he's... Once he's seen his audience in the webinars, he can zero in precisely what to be fixed. Yes, I can. I'm a fucking ninja. Look at my ninja glasses. This is probably your best episode so far. There's so much knowledge in this. Thank you. Share it to your friends. I'm loving this. Thank you. I'm going to book one-on-one -on -one consulting with you soon. I need to check myself. Do it. Guys, if you want to get coaching right now, here, I'll, put the, I'll put it in the link. If you want to get coaching, you found any value in this episode, uh, click on that link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. I'm doing this full time now, so if you want to send me something to keep my lights on, buy me a bag of chicken, uh, fucking whatever. Um, my biggest goal this week is to knock out as many webinars as possible and get multi-stream set up. That's my two goals: webinars and multi-stream. Webinars and multi-stream. Webinars and multi-stream. That's my. F See, I'm saying this shit. I'm saying it to myself too. Webinars and multi-stream. So I can, sp can spread my reach. Guys, I'm telling you, you guys now, you guys here are in ground zero. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to get big. I'm going to get fucking huge. And I'm going to... seconds. All right, chill out, lady. All right, Um. so if you guys want to call in real quick, now's the time, 657-383-1318. Um, call in, and um, I'll be able to help you out. You got 90 seconds to call in, though. 657-383-1318. Also, if you want to send a, a donation to my PayPal directly, well, through this link does it as well. But PayPal, this one is also paypal.me forward slash. Oh, man, no, don't do it through Super Chat. <laughs> uh, T1, T Surfer, thank you for that. But I don't know how to get the money out of Super Chat. And YouTube takes uh, 30%. But thank you, T Surfer. Thank you, guys. Right there, paypal.me forward slash modern life dating. That is the quickest and most efficient way to send me any donation that you feel uh, is worthy or not. Or, or if you want to send me money to kill myself, that works too. I don't care. Just send it. I'm just trying to get by. But T Server, thank you very much. 
Yeah, YouTube takes 30% plus. I don't know how to... I don't know how to fucking um, take the money out of Super Chat. I, I don't even know how to do it. So maybe Jacob can help me out with that. Jacob's my, my go-to tech guy. He's so young and smart, and I'm just a guy. Ten seconds. All right, you guys got 10 seconds. 657-383-1318. Looks like I'm going to have to close down the phone lines, but see if anybody gets in. All right, nobody got in. It is what it is. Um, Charles Caballero sent me $5. Thank you very much, Charles Caballero. That will go towards... I'm going to get this, this multi-stream set up. That's, that's the goal there. But, you know, you guys got to... You have to unlearn that shit. You have to kill your old self. You know, the new you is already here. The, the new you is already here, okay? The new you is here. Because you're watching this show... You've been watching, we're, literally, we're going on two hours here, okay? You're watching this show, you're trying to make something change in your life, and, you know, that, and you guys keep coming back and you keep listening. So that shows me that, you know, you're trying to do something, you're trying to make it happen, you're trying to make some progress in your life. You're, you're, there's something you're going after and you're trying to figure it out. You don't, you're not, you're, you're like, you know, you're like Luke Skywalker. You like know the, Jesus Christ, you know, the force is there, but you're trying to, you, you don't have a mentor. You don't have a teacher and, um, and that's fine. And that's fine. It is what it is. And, and again, you know, uh, T, T21 surfer. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Just know that if like when you guys send me money through super chat, I lose 30% to YouTube and YouTube, we all know YouTube is is evil so well whatever they give me they give me the opportunity to reach you guys so it is what it is but yeah the quickest way just like send like i said i'll put my paypal that paypal is one of the easiest one right there click on the streamlabs.com link or the paypal.me link and then you'll be able to donate to me and and this i can keep on going guys i'm not even i'm not even two months in in three days we're gonna have the, the two month celebration but I mean, I'm just telling you guys, you guys who are here now, you're here at ground zero, like you guys are the ones who are going to get, like you're literally getting the help from me at the cheapest time ever because as I grow older and, and this channel grows, like I'm going to be speaking at the 21 convention in Poland and John Shore just sent me $6.37. Thank you, John Shore. John Shore, you continue to stick out like a sore thumb. I love you. Thank you, John Shore, for $6.37 exactly. I love you, John Shore. I got to come out to the merry old England. Maybe I'll fucking go to England after Poland. I'll like try to like surf my way across Europe if I have enough European. I got a guy in Scotland. I got a guy in Estonia. I got Peter in Austria. Uh, maybe I can try to skedaddle my way across the globe and, and help as many of you men as possible i'm in this for the men man i'm in this to like help men out this is what i'm doing because i was a man who's trying to figure out my own shit and i was so i was getting scammed by all these fucking pieces of shit like rsd and all this pua guys like when i was just trying to get part of my mind right and luckily i found some good teachers out there just by chance and by sheer determination, because I just was like, I'm not giving up. I'm not fucking giving up. So, um, yeah, let us uh, let me continue reading the chat. Explosive Diarrhea says, no joke, I saw a woman on the train, white women, a little overweight, wearing a shirt saying, the future is female. Yeah, that's just insecurity. She's just an insecure person. And there's no, like, you never see a super beautiful woman wearing stuff like that. It's like really unattractive women who are usually wearing that stuff because they're just insecure like a, a secure person like us okay a rich person doesn't go around telling everybody hey i'm rich i'm rich i'm rich i'm rich okay a guy who gets tons of pussy isn't going around saying hey i get tons of pussy i get tons of pussy i get tons of pussy a jacked guy doesn't around, go around like hey bro look at me i'm jacked i'm jacked i'm jacked okay they don't because they know in their heart that they are okay i tell you guys of course i tell you here because i'm on a web channel telling you guys advertising letting you know, like hey if you need help i can help you with the stuff this is different for me because i have to advertise but like guys in the real world dude some of the richest people i know they dress like that like you would think they're just like homeless bums you would just think that they're bums but these dudes are balling outrageous 
they're not wearing like flashy gold and diamonds and all this stuff. They're just like they all they all just they all look like Charlie from Cult. Look at Charlie. Look at Charlie. Charlie is fucking got I'm not gonna say how much money he's got, but Charlie's got some fucking digital cash. And he's not on here like wearing like he doesn't have a gold grill and like fucking gold necklace. That's that's the truth right there. So this broad wearing that stuff, I mean, hey, there you go. That's that's it right there. That, that explains it all. Pedro Ariola says, I'm from Guatemala. Hola, mi amigo, ¿cómo estás? Yo estoy bien. ¿Y tú? Um, Wins Wolf, well, if I, well, if I want to be popular, I just have to focus on skydiving, taking some pictures, then fix. Yeah, do it. You ain't going to catch me dead doing no skydiving. Explosive Diary, your future is masculine. I'm sure there's a chat up there. Last one. Jonathan, with your new vision, you can see chicks without the clothes on. Cool. Yes. Yes. Lewis, I think he could before. Thank you, Winston. You need to sticky your non-YouTube dono links. What does that mean? Sticky them? There you go. PayPal.me. Click on that if you want to donate right now, guys. And um, streamlabs.com. More like modern life dating channel. Next time I'll shoot you at PayPal, bro. Thanks. Yeah, T twenty one. Sorry, man. I, I I hope that didn't come off as I was yelling or something. The only way I want to utilize super chat is like when it gets to the point where my chat is just like flying by. Then if you want to highlight a question, you send it in super chat. That's the only thing. But T twenty one server, thank you very much. Seriously, appreciate it. The only the only reason I specify it now is because you're sending me your hard earned money. To, to benefit me and to help me out and YouTube's taking a huge chunk out of it 30% which is fucking crazy I don't know how they justify that but it is what it is oh BK are you is your first name Brian ah it probably is BK thank you man thank you for that he says I shot you a donation after your last show for the great knowledge you give thank you very much seriously so I feel kind of guilty like asking for money to an extent like you know but even that, like, I have to, like, I have to let myself know that, like, I'm worthy. Because I still struggle with stuff too, guys. I'm not perfect. I still have my insecurities. Like, I told, honestly, just between, like, between, you know, you guys watching now and stuff, when I was talking to, to Charlie about body language mastery, I thought body language mastery was not going to be that much of a success. And it was, like, crazy success. Actually, I want to read. Let me see if I can read this to you guys. I'm going to read you what a guy sent me on Teachable about what he did the other day for um, his, uh, when he, how he used body language mastery for you guys that are in the course. Um, let's see. Where is it? How do, I, how do I check the emails on this thing? All right, you know what? I don't know how to check it on the damn. I, I he, he it's in an email. I don't know how to use that Teachable as yet. John Shore, thank you for six dollars and thirty seven cents. <laughs> okay, uh, let me read this. Let me read this thing to you that this guy sent me from um body the body language mastery course. Hold on, I want to read it to you just to show you because the 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 fucking the value I'm bringing is truly is there. Uh, oh man, I hope I didn't lose it. Um, hold on, because this is really good. And time is flying by. I don't. I'm like can't even keep keep track. Oh, where where did it go? Um, one second, because I really want to read this. It's so good. Maybe it was. Fuck, I can't, I can't find it. I got to like find it. But okay, basically this guy said, ah. Okay, no, here it is. Okay, I got it. Okay. All right, so he says, Hey, Jonathan, I just watched your show from two days ago. You asked me to notify if we didn't get a mail, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm European. I want to be in the European group. Here's where it gets good. 
He was like, I was on the verge of buyer's remorse because it se- the body language mastery course seems so short, but you know what? It already proved itself worth every dollar. Thank you. Here's the story. I had a friendly dinner with a dance partner after a bachata class. Look at the guy. He's going to dance. He's going to dance classes. We ate some Thai noodles with chopsticks. She asked how my food was and I remembered your video and decided to offer her a bite with my own chopsticks. She swallowed it without a second thought. She uh, without a she swallowed it without a second thought. She even showed her cleavage while doing it. Good job. I'm eager to join the webinar and the group. And for you guys who are in my body language mastery course, you know which section of body language we're talking about. You know exactly what he did and you know exactly where he's going with this. I guarantee you that guy's got nothing but good things in his future dating wise. Um, John Shore says that for that Coke Zero. Thank you, John Shore. Group A tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, Jonathan. Uh, yes, sir, Lewis, that is 100% too. 100% true, yes, sir. Um, MLD and Starburst contact priceless. Thank you, Smart RN. Kevin Ibanez, what's up? Is destroying the old you mean destroying your old, bad, stupid mindset? Yes, rewind the episode, watch it. Pin them to the description in the stream info. I can pin them in the stream? Help me out, Mike, we'll talk after. Charlie, what's up, man? <laughs> Um, don't feel guilty. Great value. Don't come free. Thank you very much. Listening to knowledge being dropped, Kevin. Yes, same. MLD. Yep, that's me, bro. Brian from the Rockies. Thank you. Keep making content. I will. Only says ten likes on YouTube. Is what? You sh- no, no, no. It's f. No, no, no. It's not. It, I'm good. I'm at fifty likes here. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, I I gave you a solid two hours of content today. Um, so yeah, I'm throw one more time. Streamlabs.com right there. Streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel. Send me $70 right there. If you want to book a consultation, this is probably the cheapest it's ever going to be. Um, I, I've personally made a vow that I will not raise my price of my consultation at all for the year of 2019. Okay. Uh, 2019, it's going to be $70 for one hour for the rest of the year. When 2020 comes, um, we're going to see what happens as I get busier, like my thing is not to like just make money off of consultations. Like that's not my goal. My goal is to help you guys. The only reason I charge is because if I do consultations for free, some people don't take me seriously. Some people waste my time. So when you pay money, you know, when you pay, you pay attention. So it's going to stay $70 for now. So get it while you can. Um, it's a hundred percent going up eventually but again it's not because like i'm trying to make more money or whatever out of you guys like it's just like as i get busier i'm trying to expand my reach and help more people and do seminars and and i want to i want to fill a stadium one day and like just be helping men like i want to lead a men's revolution i'm 33 i can keep doing this for the next 30 30 or 40 years the way medicine's going i could probably do it until 80 um but i just want to i really want to change the world i really want to change men and help men like just regain like just confidence and just help people who are suffering right that's really what it is because mainstream media everybody is just like constantly jerking the dicks of women and just like telling them how awesome they are and everybody every man is evil and every man's a bad guy and all this stuff so if you want to book a consultation paypal.me forward slash modern life dating or streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel click on one of those links send the money um, you could donate Bitcoin on my website as well. If you have Bitcoin, um, just go to the Bitcoin tab and my address is there. And um, yeah, 100%, I got you guys. Um, but yeah, that's that's why you got to kill your old self. And, and how you do it is by taking action in the direction that you're afraid. Okay, that's why I got LASIK done. All right, stop saying you can't do it. Stop putting yourself down mentally. Stop saying it's impossible. It's not. Whatever you say becomes true. Okay? There is no such thing as delusional arrogance. There is somebody who wants to make something happen and makes it happen or does it. That's it. There is no in between. All right? So thank you guys. Oh, street walking Cheetah, you're new. What's up, man? Thank you for the education. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, guys, that's it right there. PayPal.me 
uh, forward slash modern life dating. If you want to book it, you can go to my website, modernlifedating.com and click on the, the Skype sessions and I'll get you in there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down. My eyes are tired and I'm gonna go take a break. Um, and then we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. And, um, we're going to, I'm going to, um, oh yeah, by the way, Barrett said, Jonathan, I haven't been notified for what group I'm in the webinar. That's, um, so group A and group B have gone. Um, you know what? Fuck it. If who, if you're, if you're watching right now, if you're still watching right now and you have not done a webinar yet, give me a one in the chat right now. If you, if you have not gotten to a webinar and you can do a webinar in 30 minutes, in 30 minutes from now. If you can do a webinar, give me a one in the chat. If you are in a body language mastery course, if 30 minutes from now you can join um, a, a, a webinar and you haven't joined one yet and you're in the body language mastery course, press one right now in the chat. Press one. And then I'll see what I can do. I'm, I'll do, I can see, I could do one. Andy, Mr. Jackson. Okay, that's one, two, three, bye. See you later, John. Get out of here. I love you. <laughs> John Shore. John Shore donating $6.37. Thank you. Andy, Mr. Jackson, one, one. Barrett, can you do it? Ele Electrozan. Bro, don't stress yourself. No, listen, Barrett, if you can do it, tell me. Just just let me know, yes or no. Because Andy, Mr. Jackson, and Electro Zan can do it, so I'm going to do it now. So Andy, Mr. Jackson, and Electro Zan, I want you to do me something. Edgar Cruz, okay, good. All right, All right I'm going to do a webinar. Fuck it. I'm, this is Group C right now. All right, so Andy, Mr. Jackson, Electro Zan, and Edgar and Barrett, okay. So all you guys, if you got, if you bought into Body Language Mastery, send me an email right now to that address, okay? Send me an email to that address um, right now, and in the title, type Sunday, or no, type Sunday, Sunday, just Sunday, S U N D A Y. Type Sunday in the title. In the subject right now, questions at modernlifedating.com. I'm gonna open my computer and confirm it. And then and type Sunday right now. And then Hans, whoever you, Hans, I just got your booking for the the uh, Hans, I just got your booking for a consultation. So um Hans also send me an email at question at modernlifedating.com and we're gonna talk about your shit. Um Hans, Hans, I'm not going to say your last name, but I got it. Hans, send me an email there of the consultation. Um, but yeah, guys. And I'll start filtering you guys all in. Um, so it look, looks like it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Five people in the consultation that, that, that for the webinar. Wish I could do the webinar today. Uh, well, Zavar, you still have four webinar credits, so you're okay. Um, so you're you're gonna get it. Okay, Barrett, I just got your confirmation. Okay, Mr. Jackson, I just got yours. I'm going to try to get Nabil in there too. KP947. Okay, so uh, KP, you also email me right now. Questions at modernlifedating.com. Type Sunday. Okay, Andy, you're in. So I still need Edgar Cruz, Electro Zan, and KP9477. All right, you guys know what to do. So I'm going to end the stream right now, but 
You guys, you're grown ass men. Email me and let's get you in here. The email address is right there. Questions at modernlifedating.com. Type Sunday in the subject group. And then I am going to get you into the webinar right now. I'm going to take a 30 minute break and then I'm going to send you a link. I'm going to send you a private Google Hangouts link directly to the email that you send me the email from. So be watching that. It's coming in about 30 minutes. So Andy, you're confirmed. Mr. Jackson, you're confirmed. Barrett, you're confirmed. I have not received confirmation from Edgar Cruz, Electrozan, and KP9477. I'm going to go. You guys know what to do. I'll see you in the webinar, and I'll see the rest of you tomorrow for tomorrow's show. Have a great day. Enjoy your Sunday. Make money. Make muscles. Remember, do or do not. There is no try. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Just fucking do it. Just try and do it. I'll see you guys later.